Hey guys, today I'm going to show you all how to make Edo's Choka and I love to eat Edo's Choka with dal and rice so that's what I'm going to be eating today and I just thought I would share it with you guys. So if you want to see how I do this then keep watching. So over here I have about 5 Edo's and they're fairly large compared to the Edo's we would get back home. It's usually the small ones and I prefer those because I think they taste much better. I think everything tastes better back home. So anyway, in my grocery, it's a Spanish store, so they call this malangas. There's also a Hindi word for it as well. The Hindi word is RV or RB, and you can also use taro or dashin in place of this. It cooks similar. It's very similar to taro. So over here I have five chilies or bird peppers as we call them back home. And as you can probably tell by now, I love peppers, so that's why I'm using a lot. You can use how much you want. You can also use habaneros as well. But the habaneros I have right now, they're not really spicy, so that's why I want to use the chilies. And I have just one whole onion. You just want to cut these into long strips or julienne them. And you want one tablespoon of oil preferably vegetable or canola oil and of course you'll need some salt so what I'm gonna do is I already have my pot up with some water boiling and what I like to do is just take my knife and just make some slits into the edos this just helps the center cook faster. So, some people like to peel it, but I find when I peel it and I put it in the water, it gets really slimy and I just don't like that. Because when you boil it, the skin is very easy to peel off. So if you want as well, you can just cut it in half. Or you can just do this trick that I'm telling you, where you just make some slits in it, just so that the steam could get inside. Okay, so once you've made all your slits or you cut it in half, you want to put it up to boil for about half an hour to 45 minutes. These will take a while to boil, but you want them to get soft like when you're making mashed potatoes. So just check, and check on them at the 30 minute mark just to make sure that it's soft inside and then you can turn them off. So they've been boiling for about I would say 50 minutes and they're extremely soft. I just cut one in half to show you and the knife goes really clean through it so it's extremely soft on the inside. So what I'm going to do is just drain this liquid let it cool down a bit and I'll peel it. So once your edos are nice and peeled, you want to go ahead and get a potato masher or a fork or something to just mash these. And while it's still warm, I like to add the salt because the salt really melts in there and it gets really nice. So I'm just going to add about a teaspoon of salt. and I'm gonna mash it. So once you've mashed your edos and it looks like mashed potatoes, you wanna just take your onions and just put it at the top. Don't mix it in as yet. And you also want to put your peppers. You can add more if you want. So what you want to do now is put your oil into a caldrill or a ladle or into a little frying pan and you want to heat this up until it gets to the point of smoking, until it's at the maximum temperature. So I'm going to heat the oil up and I'm going to add it to the Edo's choker. You want to add it on top of the onion and the peppers so that it gets a nice little fry to it. 
So once you notice that there's a smoke arising from the top of your oil, that's when you know it's ready. So you're going to take the oil and just pour it right over your papa and your onion. And now you're just going to mix everything together. So once everything's mixed, you want to go ahead and give it a taste just to see if it needs any more salt or anything. And I usually like to eat this with rice and sometimes I just sit and eat it with a spoon just like that because it's so good. And um, what I usually do as well is I make Edo's puree with it. It's like a dal puree but you fill the center of it with Edo's. And you can also use the same recipe to do aloo choka, which is just potatoes in place of addos. And you do the same process to make aloo choka. And they're both so good with the dal and rice. I love, love, love to eat it. So if you guys enjoyed this quick and simple addos choka recipe, then leave me your comments below. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to see all my latest videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!